Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, the question today is, can hydrogen help with infections? Well, before I go on, I am gonna let you know, I am not giving you any medical advice. Please consult your medical professionals for that. I'm not making any medical claims either. And with that being said, in my opinion, would hydrogen help with infections? Yes, in my opinion, absolutely. However, let's say you have some crazy infection. In my opinion, if you need antibiotics, you need antibiotics. There's a lot of different things that you can do for infections, and I'm aware of a lot of them. Some work better than others. The reason, hydrogen seems to work differently. This has been what I've observed. For example, my mother's a really good example. She used to get UTIs all the time, and it was very common for her. And then once she got on the hydrogen protocol after seeing what it did for my father, she quit getting UTIs. I can't remember the last time she's had one. So she used to get them quite regularly every year. So that's one area that I've seen. But another one is a huge story about one of the gentlemen from Japan who was involved in making this device has a daughter with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, chronically gets lung infections like all the time. And somehow he knew that hydrogen would help her, but he wanted to make the best device for home use that truly was therapeutic in nature and safe. He really went out of his way, and he was one of the people responsible, apparently, for creating the Lourdes Hydrofix Premium, which is actually the device that I also use because it's the best. And when it comes to hydrogen, you really want something that's safe, that you're not using chemicals, and you, you wanna do it properly, and that's what I've noticed. And when you do it properly, with a proper protocol, I've gotten the best results, and I've seen the best results. So the simple answer is yes, I do believe, personally, that it helps kind of like prevent infection. If you have an active infection, it's really bad. In my opinion, I mean, you can use hydrogen and it's probably helpful, but I don't think that I would rely on it if, you know, again, you have a really bad infection. I remember one time I had an infection that went to my brain. It was really, really bad. It was due to a terrible mistake that I had made. And obviously hydrogen wasn't gonna fix that. I mean, it was spreading all over and I felt like I was gonna die and I probably would have died and antibiotics did save my life but I definitely use the hydrogen to counteract some of the potential negative side effects from the uh, antibiotics and also to recover faster and it's really good for the gut. So this I think is you know, very important to understand how to use this as a tool. I hope it answered everybody's questions. Don't forget to you know, comment below if you found it helpful. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thank you for supporting the channel as it really helps. And don't forget to subscribe as it's free. And don't forget to share, guys. There's a lot of people out there who do get chronic, chronic infections. They don't know what they can do. It actually reminds me of a person who had the same issue with their son who used to get a lot of lung infections and hydrogen appeared to help with that also. So it, it seems pretty clear to me that it definitely helps. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time on the next one.